Alrighty guys, this is a swamp light or a hag light. Uh, they're super duper easy to make. I got the idea from another channel and I will put their name in the comments um, whenever I remember what the heck it is. But it's incredibly easy to do. All you do, and the only reason I'm making this video is because I made a change to how they made theirs compared to mine uh, just to be uh, a little easier for myself as far as caring for them so I don't have to make more of them later. Uh, so it's literally, you take a jar, and then you take that jar, and you take very, 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 very thin uh, brown paint. Basically, you do like a, one drop of paint to probably five drops of water, if not more. Um, if you've ever done any kind of um, painting of any sort, you will know what a wash is. If you don't, look up miniature painting washes, and they will show you how to make a wash. Um, and you literally just take it and you smatter with a wet paper towel uh, the jar all over the outside. As you can see, I used browns, I used greens, uh, I used a little bit of white uh, to do the majority of the smattering. And then I just used some brown and green to give it some different coloring and texture and stuff like that. Once that is dry, uh, all you literally are going to do is take your cheesecloth, drape it over the top, cut a hole just wide enough to fit the mouth of the lid and then slip it over the top of the lid like that. So in the original creator's video, uh, they basically wound this twine down around here and around the lid as well. And they used a solar powered light for the lid, um, which was awesome. It was super cool. You know, you're not having to go out there and turn it off and on that type of stuff which would be absolutely fantastic. But whenever they did that, they had to hot glue the lid, uh, the solar power light to the top of the jar. Uh, and eventually those little lights do burn out. Um, so they would have to either, I guess, just break the lid off or completely replace the whole stinking thing. And those little lights can be expensive. Um, I think they said they got them from like the dollar store or something like that, but even still 10, 15 bucks a pop, there's no reason to spend that much almost every year. Plus most of those things run off of like a little rechargeable AA battery and those batteries run out before the season's over. I've had several in my front yard that usually burn out before the end of the summer. So that being said, I just kept the lid as a screw on lid and I just wrapped the twine around the edges of the lid and just hot glued it. Um, and then I just threw a little bit of brown paint on the top of the lid. Uh, another change that I made to this that they didn't do to theirs is I'm using a just a regular disposable little on-off switch. There you can see it there. LED flickering candle. Uh, that way, anytime it dies, I can just throw a brand new one in there, and I don't have to worry about doing anything fancy. Uh, a little packet that was like 10 bucks at Hobby Lobby or something like that. Um, and I also took mine, and I took a clear uh, matte, oh, what do you call that crap, varnish. I took a clear matte varnish, and before I put draped the cheese grate, cheesecloth over my candle I sprayed the whole entire candle after I was done painting it with that varnish and that varnish is going to keep that paint um, and all that texturing and detail that I put on there earlier from coming off in the rain uh, from getting as much sun damage and that type of stuff um, so those are the just the few changes that I made the detachable lid the cheap LED candle on the inside I kept the twine just on the lid not on the candle itself and um, I uh, also did the varnish, and that'll help, I hope, keep these a little bit longer. I need to come back and varnish the lids so that they don't end up rusting, because uh, they usually are made of like a cheap aluminum or something like that. So either way, super easy project. Um, I will drop the name of that YouTube channel that did this, uh, so that way if you're interested in making them, you sure can. Anyways, thanks for your time. Bye.